Hello guys, you are welcome again to another After Effects tutorial. We all have heard about the Titan Submersible Underwater Expedition and today we are going to attempt to create the underwater effect in Adobe After Effects like this. So support me on this one, do not forget to like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and then hit the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I release a new video then come back let's get started. I am starting with a new composition, feel free to use your own setting, all will work all the same. Then you go to your project manager window. I'm going to first of all import uh, a model that I'm going to be using for this tutorial. Then drag and drop it into your timeline. I modeled the Titan Submersible in Cinema 4D software and then animated it along a path in Cinema 4D, then save the project and open it in Adobe After Effects like this. It is possible to do that because there is an After Effects Cinema 4D integration. So in this tutorial, there's no need of installing Cinema 4D. You can download the model if you like, or you can watch the video where I model this submersible and then follow up with me. Right click on your timeline, go to new and create a new solid layer. I'm going to name this noise and make the pixel 2500 by 2500 and then hit OK. Any color will do. Then Ctrl Shift C on your keyboard to pre-compose. I'm going to name this C floor. Make sure leave all attribute is selected and then hit OK. I'm going to double click on the pre-composition so that I can see this massive uh, solid layer. Go to effect and preset and search for fractal noise then add it to the solid layer. We are going to make some changes to this uh, FX and control. Change the fractal type to dynamic progressive. Expand the transform and then change the scale to 65. Go to sub settings and then change the sub scaling to 68. Check inverted. Alt click on the evolution and then enter this uh, expression time asterisk. 150 and that expression will cause the noise to move like this expand the transformation again move your time indicator to zero and then set a keyframe for the offset turbulence then move your time indicator to one seconds forward in time and then change the value of the y to 1400 that will make your noise to move a bit downward but it stop after one second. We are going to add an expression so that we have a loop. Alt click on the offset turbulence again to add an expression. Add this expression loop out. Open bracket and close bracket. Then go in between the bracket again. Put in parentheses. Offset. And then parentheses again. This will cause the movement to keep looping smoothly. If you don't like the speed, you can either close this up to increase the speed or you open it up to slow the speed. In any of the way, this allows you to manipulate your keyframes using these expressions. So go back to the main composition. Move this below the Cinema 4D layer. Then make it a 3D, rotate it on the X axis, then move it downward. Go up right here and select the ellipse tool. Double click on the ellipse tool to max the layer. Hit MM on your keyboard to reveal the masking properties. And then pull down the max expansion and increase the feather. I'm going to change this to double views. Then select the layer and move it on the Y axis. Move it as far as possible. And then increase the feather again. 
this is actually not written on stone you can feel free to experiment to whatever look best for you right click on your timeline and go to new and create a new solid layer this time around i'm going to make it the comp size and name this water body color then hit ok go to your effect and preset and search for the gradient ramp add it to the solid layer then we are going to make some changes to this now let's switch back to one view first first of all swap the color and then set your color the way you want it i'm going to set it to somewhat blue like this to simulate the ocean color now change the mode to soft light select the c floor hit s on your keyboard and then increase it by 200 percent go to effect and preset and search for cc vector blur add it to the c floor on the fs control right here change the value to 30 that is the amount to 30 Ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate the C floor. Move it above all the layer hierarchy and then move it up. Delete the CC vector blur. Pre-compose it. Call it sunray. Move all attributes to the new composition and then hit OK. Search for CC radial blur. Drag and drop it into the sunray composition change the tab to fading zoom and increase the amount to about 40 move the center of the radial blur to up right there change the mode to add go to effect and preset again and add the levels effect so we're gonna increase the contrast of this so let's solo it and see what we got move the black a bit until you can see it to whatever you like and then move the white a bit go to effect and preset again and search for the tint effect add the tint effect to the Sunray, change the white to something very cool like this. We're going to put some finishing touches to this. Right click on your timeline, go to new and add an adjustment layer. Add the curves effect. Pull this down a bit. And you can move this on the highlight a bit upward right there so this is currently too saturated so i'm gonna add the tint effect again to this adjustment layer so i will reduce the amount until i like the saturation level duplicate the adjustment layer again and then pull this back a bit pick the ellipse tool and mask some part out this way make the mask ex subtract then increase the feather and that is it guys this is how you can create the underwater effect simulating the titan submersible in adobe after effect and cinema 4d without the use of any third party plugin if you find this tutorial useful please hit the like button support me on this one join my subscription so that you have access to all my project file the texture 3d model and all the templates and after effect template and you can also get discount to your project that you want to do with me in the future up to 50 percent if you have any question, leave a comment in the comment section and I will do you quick to respond to all your questions. Until I see you again on the next one, my name is SSB Otaru for Motion Digit Studios.